But this guy here, his name is Scott Shea, AKA 5050G. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this screenshot right here on the, on the um, YouTube here so you can see. Let me read what he says. Another YouTube hack. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I wanna clarify something that really needs clarification. Because I did this video, and I'm gonna show you guys right here. Look to the side of me, you see this video coming up. This is the video that I did. And I've had a couple comments about this video that I cannot, I mean, this has really been up for debate a lot. And you know, I get these comments, a few of them, and I'm gonna read one to you here in a few seconds that uh, really blows my mind. But I wanna, before I read this comment to you, I want to tell you guys, this is only gonna be a talking video, so if you're not interested, you know, I completely understand, but I need to clarify a couple things to you guys. First things first, out of town working, you know, we we're ready to get the hell home. The inspector said, all you gotta do literally is come back, fix this, and I will pass you. Now I'm gonna play that clip here just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You guys will understand, and then we'll finish the video here. Here comes the story, I know. And we use these right here. The journeyman I was working around, because I was a journeyman then, said, well, you don't have to use any red eyes because it already has one in it. And I was like, uh, that is not what that's for. And he argued up and down with me. Well, we went through inspection and um, yeah. The inspector North Carolina, if you're in North Carolina and you're an electrician or an apprentice or whatever, you guys already know, y'all's inspectors are pretty damn tough. They're way tougher than Virginia's. Anyway, uh, he said, no red eyes, fail. So he failed the whole job until we went around and pulled out all the pieces of MC we use and had to show him literally each and every one of them. All right, so now you guys see what I'm talking about. Something so minute. So what if it's not code? You know what, at this point, we did it, okay? And I'd, I would do it again. Now, that brings me to my next point of this. Why not do something that could potentially make something a little more safe or more or less likely, I should say, to fail? I don't understand the, the problem that people have with saying, well, you don't have to put the red eyes in there. You don't have to put those red eyes on there. They're not code. You're right, they're not. I never said there was. You know, there are people that will argue with you about it, you know, I used to be that person, not, not on YouTube, but years ago. But I've come to the realization that, geez, it's so much easier to make something. Um, I, I have literally, when I say literally, I mean literally went behind other people, even myself, well, not really myself, but other people, because I always use red eyes, that have broke the wire, used their clients or whatever, scarred the wire, and for whatever reason, it shorts out. I, I'm telling you, I've done it. So I'm not here to really defend myself. I'm telling you what I've seen. So if you buy a hundred or 200 or 500, whatever they come in a bag, you know, and you're only spending $10, why not? It's not code, you don't have to. You don't have to put tape. You don't have to do anything you want to. I'm just telling you, in my opinion, guys, why not? Now, bottom line is this, it's not code. You don't have to do it. So you do what you want. I'm just telling you, why not do it? All right, now I wanna address this guy because <laughs> he got me laughing. Because I am not a hack. Um, I can't see me being more uh, aware, making it more safe going above and beyond, right? Why not? But this guy here, his name is Scott Shea, AKA 5050G. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this screenshot right here on, on the um, YouTube here so you can see. Let me read what he says. Another YouTube hack. Anti-short bushings are not 
all capitalized, required per NEC or NEMA standards, can believe people let all informed inspectors walk all over them. Okay, I'm not really sure what that says exactly. Can believe people let all informed inspectors walk all over them. Now, lucky for me, since I'm a hack, I kind of know what he's saying. He's basically telling me that I can't believe I let people uh, have inspectors walk all over me telling me, you know, that I have to do something. So, you know, look, I already, I already clarified, you know, Scott Shea, I would love, love for you to debate me anytime on anything. I'm not saying I know everything, but this dude here, I think I pinned that comment too. You gotta check it out, it's pretty pretty interesting. So when he wrote that, I thought, did I say that? Because I've already rewatched it because somebody else said the same thing a while back. Now all the comments down there, you know, there's a few that says kind of, you know, I can't, you know, they are not, you're, you're saying this. No, I'm not saying anything. I haven't edited the video. It's, it is what it is. I never said they are supposed to be used. I'm just saying what I've already said. I'm not gonna say it again. So Scott, and if you want to debate me, bro, hit me up. We can debate anything you want to debate. Now, I don't know everything about the code, but what I do know when I come on this channel and I say stuff, guess what? I have researched it, all right? Plain and simple. I have researched what I am saying to you. So having said that, you do not need to put red eyes, red heads, anti-shore bushings, red devils, whatever you want to call them, tape, uh, cinnamon buns, whatever. Uh, you don't have to put them there. I will continue to do it. If you are interested in seeing how to bend PVC pipe, the best looking 90 you can get, the easiest way, click right here in this video and I will see you there. If you like what you see, like and subscribe, God bless, and I will see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.